Now please look at square number one. This is the number 11. Say 11. Once more, 11. Now 11 stands for 11 things. It could be 11 of anything. 11 oranges, bananas. In this case, it's 11 apples. Now we've already learned that numbers are organized. There are units and there's tens. And I want you to notice that architectural line with the 10 shows you that there are 10 things. Let's count them just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus 1, 11. So 11 is 10 and 1. Now look at the number 11 and say it once more. 11. Please look at square number 2. This is the number 12. Look at it and say it. 12. Once more, 12. Now 12 is made up of a unit of 10. You see the 10 apples and two more. And I want you to notice that the two more corresponds to the two. So 12 is made up of 10 things plus two more. I want you to see that. Now once more, say the number 12. Now please look at square number 3. This is the number 13. Say 13. Again, say 13. And the more you try to say it, the more you're going to remember. Now 13 stands for 13 things. Could be 13 bananas, 13 cars. In this case, it's 13 apples. Now the 1 stands for 10 things, and the 3 stands for 3 things. I want you to see that. Now, say it once more, 13. Please look at square number 4. This is the number 14. 14 stands for 14 things. The 1 ahead of the 4 stands for 10 things. The 4 stands for 4 things. Say 14. Once more, say 14. What you're learning is very important, and I want you to feel good and proud about your ability to learn anything.